Protecting the environment has always been a personal passion of mine, and I've found a way to bring it and make it a voice at the dealerships. By being uh, the green car dealer, it's given me positioning and image, something that I can work within the community and work within the political environment to actually give a little bit of a voice to us. I don't love politics, so that has given me the ability to communicate at a little different level. I come in through a sort of a, a side door rather than just plugging away. I have to be involved in local politics to get a building built, to get a permit, to do all of the things that I have to do to survive in any of my towns. One of the ways I've been able to, to reach my politicians and be able to have it on kind of a relatable issue is to make it on environmental issues. By being the largest hybrid dealer in the country, by living off the grid and driving off the grid, my house is solar paneled. When I drive my plugins, they're off the grid. And it allows me to communicate in a kind of a different level with them. So when I go and sponsor an event in the community, or in the city of Los Angeles, now I'm visiting with them about something that they're either passionate about genuinely or know they need to be passionate about. So whatever the motivation is, it doesn't matter to me, it allows me to communicate with them one-on-one -on -one rather than a, I'm not pitching. Fortunately, I started at a young enough age that I followed those people up through and they become congressmen and senators and assemblymen and I was able to establish those relationships, find a common ground, for instance, the environment, and then have that be a building block so that when I call them, it's talk, 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 visit, visit, visit. I found a way for me to be able to communicate with the mayor of Los Angeles is he happens to be passionate about a lot of my green issues. Eric Garcetti is a genuine environmentalist. One of my best friends is his first chief sustainability officer. To a degree, he's glad to help me because I'm doing the right thing for his community in Hollywood, for instance, building the right store, building green LEED certified stores. By doing that right thing, um, it allows me to open different doors. One of the things that I've really enjoyed is how we train our employees, how they go home and train their kids and then bring it back around. So at Heal the Bay, we'll have 300 of my employees on the beach picking up trash every year. They're all decorated in our LA car guy. I have a director of, of the environment. She then has a person at each store so we can make it real personal all the way down to the teach level. Through one of my groups, Grades of Green, we train kids on how to eat sustainable lunches and how to pack their lunches and not bring plastic bags to school. They go home and teach the parents about sustainability. So it's this revolving circle of education. I think You've got to find something that means something to you. It's got to be relevant to you. It's got to be a passion of yours. So if you like politics, outstanding. But whatever you're good at, you got to take that run with it. Mine was easy. And it happened to be the way I lived my life. It happened to be a great foundation for me to build my business around. And it happened to be a great door opener. So I would find something that was easy for me so that you're not selling. If it's natural and believable and plausible and truthful, it's not going to sound like a pitch. Certainly I want to be a community advocate. I don't want to be selling something. I want them to, to think that if they're gonna buy a car, I'm a reasonable guy to come do business with. It's one thing social media and the internet has allowed us to do is become that much bigger and that much more relevant to people. Certainly as we move forward into the digital social world that we're in now, we are gonna be judged way before people ever come to the store. They already know who I am, they've already studied it, they know if I'm a good guy or not, they know if it's someone they probably want to do business with, they've seen my four and five star reviews. So this is just another piece. Being in genuinely involved in the community allows me to be successful in everything I do. And again, it all just goes around and around, right? It's kind of simple.